data-driven attribution model. Hey, my name is Robert and I'm a Google Ads expert at Media Spearhead. Today I'm going to show you two ways that you can opt out of the data-driven attribution model inside of your Google Ads campaign. And I'll also go over whether it's a good idea for your business or not and how it works. So the first way to turn off or make sure that the data-driven attribution model doesn't automatically apply to your conversions is you go over here on the top left to where it says view all campaigns, so click there. And then over here where it says overview, scroll down until you reach settings. When you click settings, you're gonna have a few more options come up and it says account settings, click on account settings. And then over here in the middle under time zone, it says add suggestions, click on add suggestions. Once you click on add suggestions, you're going to notice by default that you have the first uh, setting selected, which is automatically apply ad suggestions after 14 days. This is the setting by default. It's not your, you know, you didn't do it. It was somebody else. And in order to opt out of any automatic suggestions applying to your account, you just click on don't automatically apply ad suggestions and then hit save. That's the first option. The second option is by going into your individual conversions and changing it one by one to conversions. And then we select the conversion that we want to edit. For example, phone click. And then we scroll down to where it says edit settings. And then from there, if you click on attribution model, you'll have a drop down that lets you choose whichever one you feel is best for your business. And then you just hit save. So that's the second way that you can opt out of having, of having whether it be the attribution model or any other uh, suggestions from Google automatically apply to your account. Now for data-driven attribution, what is, how does it work and whether or not it's a good idea for your business, I'm just gonna give you a quick example. If you have a company that is a B2B service and your buying cycle from your clients is very long, then you're most likely gonna to wanna to use data-driven attribution because in your Google Ads account, You'll probably have a search campaign, a display, remarketing, YouTube, and shopping. And what you want to see is the big picture. Which one of those campaigns takes part in the buying journey or in the buyer's journey? So, for example, if I went to your search ad and I saw the ad, I saw your website, I downloaded a PDF, and then one of your remarketing ads came to me, and I clicked on the remarketing ad and I engaged with your website, and lastly, I saw a YouTube video from one of your YouTube campaigns and ended up actually submitting a contact form or clicking on the call now button. The data-driven attribution model is going to give a little bit of value to each one of the campaigns that helped me, the consumer, end up purchasing from you. So that's gonna give you a big idea and it's gonna help you make better decisions whether or not you should turn certain campaigns on or off because you're gonna have a big picture. But if your business is small and you provide some type of emergency service or something that doesn't take a whole lot of thought process to decide whether I'm going to buy or hire your services, then you're probably going to be better off with the last click attribution model. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have further questions, just leave comments and subscribe so you can stay updated with the videos of tips and hacks that we share with you.